Hello, my name is Darkbreaker, and today I'm reading Why Do You Smile? You Have Told a Secret? A Penguins of Madagascar fan fiction? Um, yeah, let's just start reading. We weren't always here. Everything was going so well for us. We had so much going for us. I'm Jenny McNamara. Me and my best friend Ali Rodriguez were killed November 13th, 1999. When did this happen and how? Well, let me tell you. I was born June 8th, 1982. Ali was born September 4th, 1984. But our births don't count for the story. My parents died when I was little, so in order for the government to cut corners on putting me in a decent place. What? The government put me with the worst possible place. Yes, we were child agents? Before Allie showed up, I was, I guess, teammates with another girl, Lucy. To be honest, Lucy was not fully there in the head. Lucy was kind of a mega bitch, even as a child. September 1988. That day, our leader, Selma, gave us new dresses. I got a yellow one, Allie a blue one, and Lucy a red one. We were supposed to wear them to Mrs. Penny's garden party. Mrs. Penny ran another North Wind agency, except it's not called the North Wind, it's called the Eastern Hemisphere. Allie just came a month ago. She was still adjusting to the blaze. Selma gave me an important job to help her with her English. Later, I learned that she spoke Spanish and she is from Puerto Rico. Well, her parents were. We had a playroom with a dollhouse toy box chair and a table with a tin tea set. Lucy wanted to make herself look pretty for the party and we had three hours to kill time. I got my strawberry shortcake doll and Allie got her raggedy Ann doll. She just got ragged Andy the week before because it was her birthday. We were pretending our dolls were drinking tea. Jenny, why not get some actual tea to put in the teapot? Lucy, Selma says we are not allowed to touch the stove. Well, Allie, the only time you talk normal is when you're ruining our fun. Lucy was going to go to the kitchen and then I heard her scream. We went to the kitchen and some hot water was on her hand. Selma was with her. Alejandra, did you tell Lucy to touch the stove? Selma was so angry with her. Then Allie started crying. To think that just a few minutes ago we were laughing and giggling and to think she was crying. No, Selma, no le DJ que hiciera nada. Jenny y yo soy yo estábamos jugando muñezas. Yes, she did. Allie said, Lucy, go touch the stove. Lucy did tons of fake crying for attention to, or to get us in trouble. I don't know of one time she cried for real. Luckily, no one got in trouble for now, anyway. We were allowed to take our dolls with us. Allie brought her raggedy Ann with her. I brought my strawberry shortcake, and Lucy took her feeling fun Barbie with her. She was trying to parade herself like an adult but was trying to be cuter than Allie at the same time. Girls, go play on the swings, said Selma. She was talking to Mrs. Penny. So me, Allie, and Lucy went to the swing set. Lucy was feeling naughty again, so when Allie was high on the swing, when Lucy pushed her and Allie landed face first in the mud. Allie's pretty blue dress and shiny new shoes got messy and dirty. I guess she had enough of Lucy's bullshit, so Allie picked up a rock and tossed it at Lucy. This time, Selma punished both of them. Simple, no dessert after dinner. Selma said it was okay. I asked Selma if I could not have dessert either, but Allie was not upset because Lucy got what she deserved. September 1990. I was 10, Lucy 11, and Allie 8 years old. We stopped using the playroom because we go on missions now, so there's no time for playing. It was our first mission. Our goal was to help evacuate some animals because there was going to be some human bomb testing. On the jet, we had to do some head count to ensure everyone was not going to get blown up. A falcon woman was upset her egg was missing, and Selma was concerned because it's been 15 minutes before the explosion and Lucy was nowhere to be found. We need to get her, Allie suggests. She ran out, grabbing my paw. I went with her because Lucy might get herself hurt. 
So we wander a wooded area for 10 minutes and we see a trail of slimy clear mucus and eggshells. I think that the humans were making breakfast. Allie had a look of shock on her face. It was not chicken eggs. Remember the falcon losing one of her eggs? Well, Lucy had a hammer and was hitting eggs with it. Lucy, what the fuck is wrong with you? It was the first time I heard Allie cuss out someone in English. I am breaking the eggs, stupid, retorts Lucy. Those were baby birds, Allie screeched and slapped Lucy. Those were duds, Allie, Lucy said with zero emotion at all. But still, their mother is waiting for them. Allie makes a hissing noise. I'm speechless. Sure, even if they were duds, the mother should see her eggs whole. See, this is not breaking toys or calling our dolls ugly and stupid, ruining tea parties. She took her bitchiness to a whole other level. Those poor baby birds. Well, Miss Morality, if you tell Selma, your Teddy Ruxpin will be cut to ribbons. Lucy took out her pocket knife and held it towards my neck. I guess Allie was afraid of losing me because Selma did not know about the eggs and the mother probably does not know that her eggs died before the explosion or that they were murdered. I don't own Penguins of Madagascar because I'm not from DreamWorks because, let's be honest here, why would they waste their time reading these? I forgot to mention the species. Allie is a cat, Jenny is a polar bear, and Lucy is a wolf. Here the humans and animals age at the same pace with the same lifespan. So you can read this and not do math. What? This... Ugh. All right, that's that's the end of that one. I don't know what the hell that had to do with Penguins of Madagascar. At all. Subscribe for more garbage.